Hello and welcome once again. This is Cameron Daniels coming to you. Uh, this is today's bottom blog. Um, no, I'm not at a ground. Um, mainly because nobody actually bothered watching the um, latest one, which was at um, Fleetwood Town. So I thought, fuck it. What's the point? So, this week, I'm not doing it on a Friday, couldn't be arsed. Uh, I'm going to talk about Ryan Giggs. Um, hmm. is Ryan Giggs the, pe- the person that Ken Anderson has said is going to be the Q or Q or whatever you want to call it? Um, I would think he is. I mean, he's he's in employment. Um, nobody will have expected it. Blah blah blah. He's been the assistant manager at United. However, assistants don't always make great managers. So I guess there's a case for saying actually he's not the right person because let's be honest he's never been in League One um, so that's worrying he hasn't got any experience however he will have links uh, and players will probably want to play for him um, you know he's, as a player he was schooled by Ferguson uh, and whatever you want to think about United Ferguson was a good manager. So he will have picked up them traits somewhere, probably, hopefully. And if he has, and he becomes a bold manager, it'll be good. You know, what, what really amazes me, though, at the minute, is how history seems to be, re- seems to be repeating itself. You know, uh, back in 85, I think it was, or was it 86? No, 85. It's about Bolton were in financial trouble. Uh, had been in financial trouble. Um, they sat the manager countless times, uh, and they decided to go for a player manager in Phil Neal. Um, Phil Neal being at the time the most decorated player in the league, um, and basically, same's happened again. Wages have been sky high. We've been in financial trouble, and now we're for somebody who's been the most decorated player in the league. Um, it just seems to be history repeating itself. Um, Phil Neal didn't get it right at Bolton. Um, they went down to Division 4. However, that was a good thing in a lot of respects because it cleared the decks and they produced a new team. They got promoted to Division 3. Uh, and every season, apart from the very last one that Neil was in charge of, um, Bolton were looking at promotion. They went to the playoffs against Tranmere, lost in the playoff final at Wembley. Uh, did quite a few cup runs. I remember going to Southampton and losing there. Uh, he picked Spandy Walker as well um, on loan uh, before it became a permanent move. Um, going down was needed. Hopefully this won't happen this time. But if Phil Neal hadn't put the foundations in in the first place, Rio couldn't have took it to the next level. Or probably couldn't have took it to the next level. The foundations were already there. A lot of the players were already there that he got up with. Although there were a lot of players that weren't as well, in that respect. But the foundations were there. Certainly the wages weren't being paid out that were supposedly being paid out before Neil turned up. I remember having a conversation with him at Burnden, and one of the things that struck me was he was gobsmacked about how much money some of the players were being paid. Um, he was saying that um, that they were being paid the uh, first division wages in the third division gr- in the third third division grizzin- Jesus I can say it eventually third division team. Um, says it all, I guess. And that's happening again, so it's, it's history repeating itself, basically. Um, hopefully, if we do get gigs, which I'm, I'm absolutely certain we will, I mean, it's all over the press. He's one to four, or he's four to one on to become manager of Bolton. Um, so you would imagine he will be manager of Bolton. Can't imagine any different. Um, players have already been picked for him by the chairman and the uh, chief exec. That's probably not a good thing, unless he likes the players. There's rumours that uh, is it Ruben Lof- 
Ruben Loftus Cheek from Chelsea is going to turn up at hours. He's a good player. He's uh, been trying to force his way into the Chelsea side. Um, he's only, what, 17, 18, something like that. Um, he's a very talented individual. So we'll see. And we'll see what comes. Should be interesting times. Expect the worst. Hopefully get the best. I uh, hope you enjoyed this blog. You probably didn't. But if you did, like it. And even better still, subscribe. Alright, bye for now.